Welcome to AU Level Psychology. This is the second year of the course and this is the stress topic. We're looking in this video at gender differences in coping with stress. So let's see what psychology research says. I've split this video into two parts. Firstly, we're going to look at physical differences between male and female in coping with stress. And secondly, uh, we're going to look at psychological differences in the way uh, male and female cope with stress. So let's start with physiological gender differences. So uh, we've already studied as part of first year biopsych the idea of tend and befriend. You'll be familiar with this concept. Rather than having a fight or flight response, women have may have more of a tend and befriend response. And the reason being for that is the hormone oxytocin, which is the, like the nurturing love hormone. Um, and that means that it's women are more likely to respond to that hormone um, and produce nurturing behavior rather than aggressive behavior fight. So um, that's one key physiological difference. And if we just break that down a little bit more, so women, uh, uh, men have some oxytocin, in, but males have more testosterone. Testosterone actually dampens down the effects of oxytocin. So statistically, that's why they're more likely to have an aggressive response in a stressful situation, because they, um, they have less oxytocin to start with, and then it has less effect due to testosterone. Um, if we look at women then, women have more oxytocin, and they also have a hormone called estrogen, which actually increases the effect of oxytocin. So you get the females, therefore, are more caring and protective. So you've got oxytocin being affected in different ways by male and female male hormones, which leads to differences in behaviour when coping with stress. Right, let's just evaluate that part of the theory before we move on to look at psychological differences. So first of all, the strength of this is that we have a lot of research, it's very scientific, it's looking at hormone levels and so on. Um, so the, that research supports the role of oxytocin in creating gender, dif gender differences. However, there are some females that are aggressive in response to stress. There's exceptions to every rule, isn't there? Uh, and uh, evolutionary theory argues that actually in many ways it is beneficial for women to be aggressive, to protect and fight for their children. So it, it doesn't quite make sense in that, that way and it doesn't... Um, explain every single circumstance of stress. Um, you know, equally, this theory is ignoring social and psychological gender differences uh, and just saying it's down to hormones, any gender differences. And actually, again, we can't do that's being reductionist, biologically reductionist. We can't get a proper understanding of behaviour in that way. Right, let's have a look at psychological gender differences. So this, um, Lazarus and Folkman were the key people that looked at this. They came up with something called a ways of coping questionnaire, where they had loads of different statements about the way people cope. And you have to say how much you agree with, like that that's a strategy you use, basically. And they took it all in and had a look. And they've said that generally... Uh, speaking, obviously, again, exceptions to every rules, but generally speaking, the pattern that they saw in the way that people were saying they respond to stress was this, which is that men use something called problem-focused coping as a general rule, which means they're directly tack tackling the root causes of stress. They're taking action in some way to deal with the problem, problem-focused. Women, on the other hand, tend to use something called emotion-focused coping, which is rather than tackling the stress itself, what they do is they tackle the anxiety or the emotions linked with the stressor. So they seek to change their mood in some way rather than actually tackling the stressor. So problem-focused coping, emotion-focused coping. Differences psychologically in which people deal with stress. So here's just, I'm not going to read all these out, here's just a few examples of problem-focused coping, uh, made a plan of action and followed it, came up with different solutions to the problem. You can see they're tackling the problem. Here's some examples of emotion-focused ones. Blaming yourself, criticising yourself. Equally, these ones slept more than normal, tried to forget the whole thing, denial, refused to believe it happened. Right, let's look at some research then, um, following on from that. So do other studies also support this idea? Um, this was the same questionnaire, the Ways of Coping questionnaire, and actually Peterson used various other things as well. But they found the key gender differences again. Women were using emotion-focused 
approach and men were using a problem solving approach and that is in um, men and women who are struggling with fertility which is very stressful obviously right evaluation um, of that this area so we've already had one uh, kind of a second supporting study there that we've talked about which you could use to support this area um weaknesses of looking at this area we've got lots of self-report um because um hopefully by this point in the course you're very familiar with the issues of self-report where particularly actually in this case it's a bit of a sensitive topic people are more likely to not be exactly truthful because they may feel shame at, at coping in a certain way or don't not want to be perceived as not coping with stress so that's a particular problem in this area with asking people to report how they deal with stress because social desirability bias is like far more likely to be an issue than if it's something that's perhaps a bit less sensitive that kind of affects people's perception of their self or whatever um, another issue with research in this area is that, uh, well, actually, this is an issue with the theory, individual differences. So not all males will use problem focused strategies and not all females will use emotion focused st strategies. And we're at the moment as a society really shifting the boundaries with gender and actually um, it's quite a gender stereotyped theory, as I'm sure you've noticed. Um, and oh yeah someone else ha has also pointed out that uh, coping strategy differences might just be that men and women in their stereotypical roles in the past have experienced different sorts of stresses like when this questionnaire was carried out there was probably a lot more of a split of men working and women not working and therefore the sorts of stresses that people were experiencing would differ it may be more appropriate for women to use emotion focused and men to use problem focused so it might not be a gender difference in the way people deal with deal with stress it would be good if you could in some way control so that you're looking at men and women experiencing the same stresses and then look for differences in how they respond to it and that's going to get us a more valid research result.